So I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel because today we are looking at a fantastic free resource. We're gonna be looking at PBR, so physically based um, rendering materials that you can bring into Blender. And it's gonna be on a free site called Polyhaven. And the really, really cool thing here is that you don't have to do any node setups whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna show you how to append these into Blender as already existing materials that come with these node setups that are perfectly set up for you. It allows you to control things like displacement. Um, so I'll quickly show you guys over here. Um, like it comes with physically based displacement. So we can actually see it displacing. You can control the displacement amount, make it more intense. And there are hundreds and hundreds of these completely free materials to pick from. So this is gonna be one of the best free resources you can have as a Blender user. It's gonna take your work to the next level. And the fact that this is free is something I still really can't wrap my head around. So um, big thanks to these guys and you can support them on their Patreon as well. So let's jump in. I'll show you guys how to get some of this into Blender. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The site we're gonna be going to is polyhaven.com. I'm gonna put a link to this one in the description. Um, and it's very, very simple. You have all sorts of assets here. You can just go to where it says assets. Their HCRIs alone are already amazing and are completely free. But today we're gonna to be looking at the texture. So we're gonna come here. Oh yeah, and by the way, they have models as well, just as another bonus, but we're gonna click on textures. And all their textures are PBAs, PBR, which means physically based rendering. So um, here you can see are just a few of them and you can come here directly at the top and search. So for example, I can type in stone or you can come over here to the side where they have textures and they have all of these categories. So you have all, then you have aerial, terrain, floor, brick, wood, and these are gonna cover a lot of your basic needs. Um, I find that um, polyhaven.com is incredibly fantastic when it comes to environmental textures. Um, so stuff for like in the background, stuff for architecture, it's really good. When you get into more organic kind of things and fabrics, it's probably a bit more limited, but I think just from what it has here, it's free. It's absolutely amazing. So let's come and find one and you can choose whatever one you want. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to probably just go here to the terrain and I'm just going to go to rock. And I think the rock will be a really interesting one to test with because of the really awesome displacement. So you can go ahead and pick whichever one you want to choose. I'm going to go, let's have a look. It's always a hard choice because they're all so amazing, but I think I'm gonna go with this one up here, this gray rock, so that's gonna be my choice. And then it's really, really simple. If you wanna download this, you can come up here and you got some options. So number one, you got the type of software you wanna get it for, um, so Blender, and then there's a zip option, but just go ahead and get it for Blender, then it's already set up for us. You can come here and get the resolution. So it's 1K, 2K, all the way up to 4 and 8K. So I'm gonna just go with 2K. I recommend you go higher, um, but just because I'm doing the tutorial, I'm gonna go with that. And then you're just gonna come here and click on download. So for me, that's going to my downloads folder on my computer. So I'm gonna quickly go over there. And now it's downloaded as a zip folder. You're gonna simply right click and it depends obviously on your computer. So I've got a Windows operating system, but you're just gonna do a extraction. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract this file here. It doesn't need a password or anything. And then what you have here is a file and you can double click on that to open it up. Inside you have the textures and then you have the gray um, rocks blend file here, okay? Now the reason this is really cool is because the blend file already has the material set up for you. So that means we can now, as long as we know where we have that file on the computer, we can open up Blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once you're inside of Blender, um, what we can do, because um, I prefer to work with Cycles, let's just quickly go to our render engine. Um, let's just change it to Cycles. And as always, I always recommend if you have a GPU and you have it enabled that you use it. And then under the render samples here, just so we can do a test render, I'm gonna set my max samples to 55, should be fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select the default cube. This is um, whatever object we're gonna be adding this PBR material to. It's good if it has a lot of topology because we can displace it um, with physical displacement. So I'm just gonna go ahead, tab into edit mode of the cube selected, right click and go subdivide. Let's just come to our subdivide tab here and give it something like 20 and drop this down. And with everything active, you can just go shift, alt and S. So shift, alt and S and then move your mouse and it rounds it all out. And the reason this is better than using a sphere is that you don't have those poking triangles at the ends, at the poles of the sphere. So this is a really good example. So back in object mode, just right click and go shade smooth. 
And um, let's just go shift A, just quickly add in an aerial light. I'm just gonna rotate here. And by the way, you can skip this to the part where I show you how to append the material. It's just if you're following along and you needed to kind of see how this looks and you didn't have a working scene. I'm just showing you how to set it up. So now go into camera view. And now we have a little working scene here, which I'll just save somewhere to my computer. Okay, so now we can go file and we can go to append. And in my case, I have this on my downloads. So I'm gonna to go to downloads. I'm gonna to go to that extracted folder. And inside there, you're gonna see a dot blend. And you're gonna double click on that. And then inside of this blend file, you're just gonna to go to the material. And then you're gonna see your material. In this case, there's one in here called gray rocks. I'm gonna click on it and go append. Now it's inside of our library in Blender. So if I select this um, sphere here, I can go over to my materials tab. And then um, this has a default material because it was a cube, but we can come here to the drop down and change it to that gray rocks. And now if we go Z on our keyboard and we go rendered, we can see this is what we have. And it should already have the displacement set up um, by default, the material. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to my modifiers. So I'm going to add modifier, search and go sub. And just get a subdivision surface. And I'm just going to grab my light over here and I'm just going to go shift D to duplicate it and just have it kind of coming off from the side. Just um, as a little bit of extra lighting, maybe here from the front a bit. There we go. And let's just quickly go now render and render image to give this a test render. And there we have it. Now we have a material here, PBR material with physical displacement. And this is one of many materials. I went with a lower resolution. Obviously, if you went to a higher resolution, it would look even better. Um, but this is how simple it is. And I'll quickly show you, uh, if we quickly go over to our shading workspace, we select the sphere. You can actually see this is the node setup. So it's all already neatly set up. And if you want to increase this displacement, by the way, you simply have to come here to this displacement node, which is already conveniently set up for you. And you can take the scale up here to maybe like 0.3. Let's give it another quick test render. And now you can see that's a lot more intense. So yeah, that's it. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it's um, taught you something about really cool free resources that you can use in Blender. And I hope it makes your projects a lot more interesting. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.